Hello boys and girls, welcome to Kids of Faith Online. Hey, my name is Stu and I'm really excited you decided to join me today. Can y'all do me a favor? Can you show me how big your muscles are? Like, like this? Can you do that? All right, so it's your turn. You ready? Go for it. Wow! Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was really good. Okay, so can you do it one more time? Only this time, I want you to see if you can make your muscles even bigger. You ready? One, two, three. Go! Oh, wow! Yes, I think they did get bigger. That was impressive. So let's have a show of hands. How many of you um, are really, really strong? Like, show me your hands. All right, cool. Now, now put your hands back down. Now raise your hands if you are stronger than all of the puppies on Paw Patrol. Hands up if you are. There's a bunch of you guys. X. Okay, put your hands down. Okay, so now only raise your hand if you are stronger than Daniel Tiger. You ready? Go, show me. Ooh, yes, a bunch of you again. That's awesome. Like you're stronger than an actual tiger. All right, so hands down. Raise your hands if you're stronger than, let's say, Peppa the pig. Hands up if you're stronger than. Wow, yes. All right, again, a lot of people are stronger than Peppa the pig. Well, I am so glad you're here because today we're gonna look at someone who is stronger than you, stronger than me, and stronger than the bubble guppies. His name is Jesus, and to help us tell the story, let's go to our friend Callie right now. Hey friends, thanks for joining me on today's vlog. You caught me on a not so good day. I'm feeling a little sad now, and I'm not sure how to make myself feel better. I tried watching a bunch of funny videos, but it didn't help. Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, it's my friend Grace. She's a vlogger too. Hey Callie, so glad I caught you. Oh, hi Grace. Uh-oh, Callie, what's wrong? It's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. Well, you know my vlog, right? Yes, the best vlog ever. Well, not everyone thinks so. Today, I got my first, my first thumbs down. <gasps> what? A thumbs down? You mean someone doesn't like Callie's world? Yeah, I'm very disappointed. I put a lot of work to make these vlogs so I can share them with my family and friends. But seeing that thumbs down is making me want to quit vlogging. Callie, I totally understand how you're feeling. I got a bunch of thumbs downs on my vlogs too. You did? Yep. So then I started copying what other people were doing on their vlogs. More people liked my videos and I got more followers, but I wasn't happy. Why not? Because it wasn't me anymore. My vlog wasn't what I wanted to say, it was what everyone else wanted me to say. So, what did you do? Well, whenever I don't know what to do, I find that a Bible story is exactly what I need. Whoa, me too. Wanna listen to a Bible story together? Always. It's time for our Bible story. We've been talking about how Jesus started gathering his disciples or followers, right? Right. But lots and lots of people started following Jesus around everywhere. Why? It was because Jesus was not like any other teacher in the whole world. Jesus was very wise, but he also had the power to heal people and to do other amazing things. One day, Jesus was teaching a group of people when someone came and started to make a scene. A scene? He was making a lot of noise and chaos and disturbing the teaching. Why would he do that? Well, the man was not well. He didn't know what he was doing. So what did Jesus do? Jesus shouted, but not at the man. He talked to the illness that was inside the man. He said, be quiet, come out of him. Then what happened? The man began to shake and then stopped suddenly. Whatever was bothering him on the inside went away. 
The man was healed and it changed his life completely. Wow, that's amazing. That's what everyone thought too. They were used to hearing about God's word through many teachers, but they had never seen a teacher so powerful that even invisible things obeyed him. I'll say. People started telling everyone what they had seen Jesus do. After that, many more people began to follow and believe in Jesus. You see, Callie? Didn't that story make you feel better? That was an amazing story, Grace. But I'm not sure how it related to me getting a thumbs down. Well, the Bible story told us that a lot more people started following Jesus after he healed that man. But did you know? that there were a lot of people who didn't agree with the things Jesus did? Oh yeah, I think I heard that before. They didn't really believe that Jesus was the Son of God. But Jesus didn't do only the things that made people happy. He did whatever made God happy. He showed love to all kinds of people, even if it made him unpopular. So what you're saying is, I should keep doing what I'm doing and not worry about the people who give me a thumbs down? You got it, Callie. Sometimes people might not like what we have to say, but we don't have to change our message just so everyone will like us. When we keep sharing about Jesus, who knows, it might change them one day because the message of Jesus is powerful. Wow, Grace, I really needed to hear that. Thanks for reminding me of the important things. You're welcome. And whenever you're feeling down, don't forget to call your number one fan. Who's that? Me. <laughs> See you later, Callie. My friends, if you ever feel down or you're not sure if God is listening, think about today's story. Jesus cares about you so much and is so powerful that he can help you with anything. That's why I'm going to keep vlogging and telling everyone about Jesus. Thank you so much for subscribing to this cool channel. I love learning and growing with you. Catch you next time. Peace. That was a fantastic story. Thanks, Callie. So when Jesus taught, his words were powerful. When people had a need, we sometimes got to see Jesus use his power to help those needs. Like in this story, Jesus made the evil spirit leave the man. I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? That Jesus was so powerful that even invisible things obeyed him. So when you're feeling down, we get to lean on the one who is more powerful than everybody else. When you are feeling good, we get to lean on the one who is more powerful than everyone else. What was his name again? Do y'all remember? That's right, his name is Jesus. Now, I, I, don't forget this, this is our big idea for the day, is that the message of Jesus is powerful. You guys pray with me real quick. Heavenly Father, thanks so much for your son Jesus. Thanks so much that he is powerful and his words are powerful and thanks that we have your word to go back and to see that. I pray all the boys and girls watching, they digest that, they remember that and they apply it to their lives. Heavenly Father, we love you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys so much for checking in today. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.